Okay. Hi, Heidi. So these are all the materials that you need to make the little lung models. This is the pill vial and it has the little hole drilled in it there. Um, and so here's how we start. So I start with little lengths of tube. This is a good size piece of tube for kids to work with. And notice that the ends are cut at an angle. Um, that's actually really important. You'll see why in a second that they don't get cut flat. You want to cut them at an angle. And so then there's two different balloon sizes. I chose Cal Poly colors, but you mm -hmm. can choose whatever you want. Um, and the small one, this is the five inch balloon, this is going to be the lung that's inside the thing. So start by having the kids put this on. And a lot of times they'll do this, which is just like barely put the balloon on over the end. And that actually doesn't work very well because then you, it's hard to see when it gets inside the capsule. So encourage them to pull this all the way down. Like I almost like to have the top of the tube kind of poking the end of the balloon there. And then if you want, you can kind of roll the neck up a little bit. Okay, so now it's ready to go in. Now we have to put it into the tube. And here's where having this angle cut is really important because if it's cut flat, you won't be able to get it through this hole. But cut at an angle, it gives you something that can go through there and you can grab onto it. So I'm strong enough, I can just do this with my fingers. But some people, um, you know, it's nice to have some, some tools like this where you can pull it through. So I'm going to pull it through, and I like to pull it so this little balloon is right flush against the top like that. Then they'll be able to see it as it inflates and, and gets smaller. So this is the larger balloon, the seven inch balloon, which is the diaphragm. And so you need to cut it right here, kind of where the thin part, the neck, goes into the, the body of the balloon. And so I'm just going to cut that right there. And then this part gets stretched over the bottom. And this is, not, you know, it's, if they work in partners, it makes it easier to do this. And I pull this up as far as I can this way, and then just roll down the excess. And then, you know, there's enough here that they can grip onto it and pull it. And, um, and with a seven inch balloon, it stays on here pretty well. If you have a different size balloon, they might have to kind of hold it in place while they, while they do the pulling. Then the last thing is just to trim off this extra. And so, um, again, it's really important to do it at an angle when they cut off that extra piece there so that when this, this piece of tubing can be reused by another kid and having the angle cut's important. So that's it.